Hey everyone, and welcome back to our Let's Play for Alea Yakta Est. We are up to episode 6 today, and the last time around, well, we basically sort of basically got control of most of Italy. We've got a few forces boxed up here in these cities, just waiting to sort of siege them and actually get control of them, and then we can get access, you know, free up our forces. Um, have a few forces over here in Epirus, a bit of an expedition, a couple of legions there. We've now opened up the um, Numidian Theatre here, and we're doing relatively well there as well. Spaniards going quite well too, no major dramas here, pretty much holding the line quite well, so that's all going pretty well. We've done all our movements for that we wanted to do, so actually going to process the turn now. Uh, jump into a new turn. So we've definitely got Italy pretty much under our thumb. Um, just waiting for those cities to fall and then and then we'll be free. So once that's actually done, we may actually look at even Sulla's actually not doing that well. So we may actually even look at pushing over into into Illyria and actually taking some of those Illyrian cities and and really sort of consolidating our control. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how we go. Seems to be doing quite well. Right? We're not really running into any major problems. Um, yeah. So alrighty, turn processing. Nothing major happening yet, which is probably pretty good. Wow, harsh weather. I haven't seen this. Didn't, we actually didn't get this last time around. We only got a little bit of snow here and there, but lots and lots of snow, so that's interesting. First thing we're going to check is this um, is this expedition here. They still haven't got supply or enough supply, really. Um, they, these guys are actually lurking a lot of supply as well, so... Um, yeah, these guys here. All right, interesting. Might have to have a look at that in terms of what we can actually do in terms of supply, actually getting our units back up to supply um, stage again. Interesting. Alright. What we're going to do, run through the events. Um, made a breach in Arimnum for three breaches. We can actually now um, we can actually now assault this city. Even though it's winter, I'm actually sort of a little bit impatient. So we actually are going to assault um, Arimnum now to put these force onto assault and this one as well. And we should be able to take that um, quite well. Besieging Ancona still haven't done anything there, which is frustrating, but that's the way it goes. Besieging Nola and Serta and still haven't done anything any breaches there either. Did we take any hits in these units? I don't think we did. Nope, we didn't, so that's good. Um, trade posts. We actually set up our trade posts again, so we're going to go through and set those up again, so we got a bunch of extra money last turn. Um, where are we? Transport, there we go. Trade post, not transport. And last one in Dyrrhachium. Oops, there we go. Last one in Dyrrhachium there. Cool, done. All right, what's we got? Um, suffered one damage from bad weather, which is not really anything considering. Legionary cohorts for that one there. Upkeep. Um, 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 um. Looks like we lost a bunch of ships here. We did actually. Wow, we lost a huge number of ships. I thought that would be, be potentially a problem. There wasn't a storm there last time, so we actually lost a whole stack of ships there, which is a bit upsetting, but that's unfortunately the way it goes. Um, um, we engaged in Lusitania, but it looks like they actually sort of backed off. I mean, this force is still not active, so we still actually can't go over to offensive status, so that's okay. Optimates sold prisoners into slavery epidemics in Gallia. Um, so we haven't actually got any forces there anyway, so that's fine. Shipbuilding get plus 100 denarii and plus 5 warship replacements, so that's okay. Alrighty, so that's the events we've got to look at here. We're going to assault Ariminum this turn, still besieging Ancona, still besieging Nola, um, and everywhere else is pretty much fine. New media is going pretty well. I'm still besieging this city. In terms of supply, we're going okay actually. We do have our supply units over here, so next turn we're about to send them back again. Um, yep, so that's good. Um, we did have some supply units here, somewhere did we here? Yeah, well, here we go. So these guys are back up. So she's going to send these guys. Or well, these guys are actually out of supply, so she's going to definitely send those over this turn and give them back some supply there. Um, these units are okay in terms of supply, so that's good. Once we've actually taken this city, we should be pretty much fine for supply again. So. These guys are okay for supply too. Cool. 
Alrighty, um, replacements. Do we need any? Not really any there. We do need a fair bit in warships, but we've already got a lot there, so that's fine. Socia is fine. African forces, fine. That's all good. Cool. Nothing in reinforcements. Nothing in politics. Nope. Um, nothing there. Objectives. Nothing there either. So. Cool. Done. Alrighty. We pretty much think we can actually end the turn here. Which we're going to do. There we go. So Riminum is the big one this turn around. Um, hopefully we can assault that city. We shouldn't have a problem taking it, which would be fantastic. Finally get that siege um, all the way done. So after pretty much a year and a half of fighting, um, we'll have that have that city in our hands. And it's just Ancona pretty much. And then we can come down and destroy that little legion um, force there in Luceria. And we'll be done. Italy, Italy will be ours. Finally, 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 finally. Let's drag down a little siege. siege um, sieges can take quite a long time, which is actually is very good. So, I mean, you look back in, in ancient, you, know, you look back in history, and sieges often did take, you know, at least, you know, a number of months, often years, to actually siege a, like a decent sized city. So, it is quite realistic that, you know, if you've got a decent sized force inside a city and it, and it, it is relatively well supplied, um, it's, um, you know, it does take a long time to actually siege them. And the problem that we've actually had with these two, Aratim and Ancona, is actually they've actually still got access to their ports. Um, and given we actually don't have really, I'm a little bit reluctant to send any naval forces out because the Optimates still have a huge, more, uh, like bigger, much, much bigger navy than what we do. So a little bit reluctant to send our um, fleets out, out, out to actually engage, or yeah, to actually blockade these ports. All right, the Battle of Ariminum. We've actually pretty much destroyed most of the garrison, which is awesome. So the city should pretty much be ours now. So we only lost 4,000 men, they lost 16,000. So uh, and there we go. We cleared off the garrison. So Ariminum is now ours, which is brilliant. So that is really, really good. Finally lost a battle over here, lost a few units as well. Um, we still have control of the city though, so that's okay. Sending some more forces through, assaulting the city again, and we lost again. And still have control of the city though, so. Um, uh, the garrison of Ol Olisipo has, or Olisipo, um, has done absolutely amazing. They've had numerous battles there, and they've actually sort of kept control of the city, which is really good, so. Um, what have we got here? So we've taken Ariminum. Um, slave surrenders to us here, so we're actually taking this city without a fight, which is awesome. So that is really, really good. So what we're actually going to do next turn is actually get this force and put them on offensive and actually move them over to Luceria here and hopefully take on this um, slave, uh, not the slave, the um, Optimates force there. So that'll be good. So what else have we got here? Made a breach in Serta, which is nice. We need one more and we can assault the city, which will be really good. Once we've assaulted that city, we can actually look on taking on this main um, Numidian army there, which will be good. What else have we got here? Um, Carbo Menace is partially unsupplied, though we actually did bring our units, our um, supply units back. We're going to take another three out there and out of that force there and actually send them back over to Perugia like we did before. Give ourselves some supply there. Alrighty, so we, what else have we got here? A um, few units took some damage from bad weather, which is not such a bad thing. Some upkeep, we took some prisoners, gain control of Nola, which is awesome. Gain control of Ariminum, Ariminum so that is really, really good there. So very, very pleasing to finally get into control of Ariminum. Nice big city up there. So we put these forces back down to defend stance and we actually start moving these guys off a little bit. So where's a decent sized place that we can get our um, resupplied? So I think we're actually gonna probably move Sina back over to Perugia. Um, yep, or maybe up here. So these little, um, these little icons here. So these are supply levels. These like this number, the 44. So that's the supply level. So I'm looking for like decent sized places where we can actually, um, you know, get resupplied with large armies. So we could up, could come up, could come up here as well. I think we might as well just come back over to plus, um, PC over here or Pisa over there. So that should be good. So we move Sina over there. Might as well do that. Yep. Should take us 17 days, which is fine. Then we're going to move this force, um, actually down to here. Back down to Ancona there, so that should be fine there. I should put you back back to um, offensive stance there. Cool. What else have we got here? Um, forces in Lusitania there, which is fine. Um, Mithridates has spent 100 denarii to get plus 10 engagement points. Um, ship building, so you get some more money and replacements, which is good, and that's all. Cool. So we have a battle there next turn. How are we going here for supply? Still holding on, not actually losing. It looks like we are actually getting some supply back, so we're actually getting some supply in which is really really good so 
some of these units re um, replenishing themselves, which is nice. So that's good. And yep, cool. All right. That's totally fine for all that kind of stuff. So that's good. So I think we did have some supply units here. Yep, so that's good. So we move those back into our um, our force there. Uh, give them some supply back. These guys are still actually losing a little bit of supply there, which is surprising. I suppose it is only 10 size there, isn't it? So actually not a very big supply limit for a pretty decent sized army. So that's probably why they're losing some supply there. That's okay. Um, although what we may actually do is do the same thing. Actually take these supply units out, move them over to Hi Hippo Ridges. And um, yeah, we can do that. Cool. All right, we're going to do that. Let's start done there. So battle there, move our horse back to Ancona. Um, Sinner's going to move his army over here to resupply and sort of just chill out for a little bit. We don't really need to do anything else. I think once he's done there, um, I'm not really sure what we're going to do with him. May send him up to here potentially. Or we may actually sort of have a secondary command up here. May have Sinner as our main army down here in the south somewhere. I think that's what we may do. Or may actually send Sinner even over to Hispania maybe. Actually maybe take the fight to the Lusitanians. Potentially, that could be, could be a bit of fun, couldn't it? Um, yeah, all right. Jump into replacements. Do we need anything? Probably not a whole lot. Might grab a couple of um, line infantry there, one light infantry and one supply train, and that's pretty much all we need there. So I do need some more replacements. So grab a couple of line infantry, light infantry, and one more cavalry and skirmish units there. African forces are fine, which is good. Um, no reinforcements, no political options, and that's all there. So that's good. So definitely building up our forces a lot. So Lusitania is down to 25% of our combat strength. Um, Optimates are up to, down to 94. But they have taken 222,000 ca casualties compared to our 103. So it's not totally unexpected there. All right, that's all the options, that, all the old moves that we're going to do this time around. Um, Pontic Force is still sitting there. Looks like Sulla is pretty much the same. Not really, still haven't got the upper hand, but still doing okay, I guess. Uh, we're going to leave this army here. I haven't, real, haven't got really any real sort of benefit or desire to sort of um, increase um, yeah, anything, increase any, any units or anything. Um, there's not really anything we can do here that I'm really interested in doing. Parades and triumphs and all that kind of stuff. Not really interested in requisitions and all that kind of stuff either. Walls, build edge strength, defensive structure. What does this actually do? So, cost us 50,000 denarii. We'll start the construction of a fort structure. 1% um, development. Um, 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 um. Take six turns. Interesting. So, I'm actually wondering whether we can, we can we put one up here. No, we can't, which is a bit disappointing, which is okay. Um, yeah, we actually can't do that really anyway, apart from Rome, which doesn't really have any benefit to it. Maybe we should actually. In the worst case scenario, if Sala did come back, maybe we should have Rome sort of defended. So we actually can put that decision down there, which is fine. And we're actually going to end the turn now. That was all the decisions, we, all the moves we wanted to take. So, new turn. So we're doing pretty well, I think. I actually think we're doing. I think it's sort of a bit of a combination. Probably doing better than what I thought we would do. I think it's a bit of a combination of the Lusitanians being a little bit passive and Salah probably having a little bit more struggle over in Greece and Macedonia than what I would have expected potentially. Um, yeah, so we're doing pretty well. I'm pretty happy with how things are going. Alrighty, new turn coming up. Engage this force over here. We've won a victory, which is good. So I haven't really didn't have a much of a numerical advantage, but um, we did take more casualties. I'm not really worried about that. Did destroy a few, a few more units though of theirs, which is nice. So nice victory there, which is good. And we've actually maintained our position there as well. So lost another. Uh, we actually won a victory here, which is good. So Olasipo is still. Maintaining its reputation as being an absolute beast of a city of the garrisons there. Honestly, there must be absolute elite fighters by now. Uh, must have had that much experience. And defending their little far-flung um, city on the, the western coast of Spain. Alrighty, events. How are we going? Optimates have surrendered to us in Serta. Awesome. So we actually took Serta without a fight, which is really, really good to see. So quite pleased by that. 
Um, yep, so that's good. So I'm thinking this turn around, we actually can probably move both move both of our main armies over here and actually take on this main army of the Numidians there. And once this city is done, they've only got this one far one over here, which is good. So um, yep, so a bunch of our units received extra like replacements and things, which is good. And what else we got? Succeeding against the enemy to earn two engagement points, which is nice. Um, this Serta Receptaculum, we would gain control of that. Um, we've gained our, our units down here, which is nice. And Kona, we still sort of haven't made any breaches there, which is okay. Got some supply units here. These guys got enough for one more turn, so that's fine. Um, what else have we got? We've got our Sinners, Sinners army over here. We should put them back on to defend, and they'll sort of resupply by themselves over the next turn, which is good. Um, won, a battle, won a battle in Lucerium and gained one national morale point, which is good. Um, what else have we got here? We've constructed some ballistae, some ballistae with this army here, which is nice. Put these guys back onto offensive stance. Um, yep, all good. Alright, so that's all the all the um, events that we need. We actually put leave these guys on defensive stance, I think. Give them a turn to sort of regenerate. And we actually are besieging the city, are we not? No, we're not. Because it's only uh, so only a size one fort, so I'm actually going to basically leave the guys back on defensive stance for one more turn. Um, to get their cohesion back and also to replenish their um, their, their strength numbers then. And then we might, we might actually assault the force next time around. I'm actually tempted to almost actually bring Sinner down here. How long does it take? It's going to take 51 days, which is a lot, isn't it? We actually move down to Rome in one turn, it's 33. Move down to Spoletium, that's 35. Move that down to there, it's 35 as well. Alright, we're just going to leave um, Sinner there. Maybe just do it with that one army there. All right, so Italy's pretty much ours. So we've got a few extra provinces here, which is nothing to worry about. But all the cities, all the main cities apart from Ancona are ours, which is awesome. So done, awesome, all good. All right, so how are we going over here in terms of supply? So definitely building up supply here. So obviously because they got a, got a, um, a harbor supply point here, which is good. So the supply obviously automatically is coming in because it is building up supply again, which is awesome. We're going to need to leave our ships here, I think. Um, probably leave our fleet there in case um, a an optimate army does come through. I'm actually attempted to... I'm actually try this. I'm actually bring our fleet up here and actually blockade this port. So I actually need 10 naval elements to blockade this zone. So that's going to be easy. Definitely got more than 10. Hopefully we don't get caught in a storm again. Um, hopefully that means the siege of Ancona will go a little bit quicker. Probably should have done that a little bit earlier. I was a little bit worried about having the Optimates Navy come out to absolutely crush us. So that's why we didn't do it earlier. All right, down in Numidia, we're going to send both our armies in. So it's going to take four days and four days. So they're going to arrive there at the same time and engage at the same time, which is good. So hopefully we can win another victory there. Hispania is going well. Um, this command is still not active, so we can't do anything about that unit there. Apart from that, though, Lusitania is just not doing anything. So I'm, I'm happy about that. I'm really happy. It's, it doesn't worry me at all. Um, but Yeah, cool. All right. What about replacements? Got our, um, our city income as well, so we've got a huge amount of cash there, which is awesome. So we're going to get a bunch of line infantry replacements there. We might get five. Uh, that's pretty much all we need anywhere else. Uh, that's fine. So sure, I'm going to grab another few replacements just in case we need them. There we go. And also a Legatus one there. African forces are fine, which is good. Can't really recruit anything else or any options and stuff to do. Don't think we can recruit any more units. No, we can't. So we've actually basically used up our... our um, quota so we've got a bunch of african units that we can recruit up here some elephants oh elephants they're quite cool um a bunch of um you know different units we can recruit here as well which is interesting african heavy infantry but we don't really see the point i think we're pretty much we we overwhelm them in terms of numbers so i don't really see the point in doing that and yeah cool all right we're actually going to jump into a new term since everything seems to be going pretty well we may as well do that, get through the turns as much as we can. So I'd be just interested from here to hear from any of you guys who've actually picked up um, Alea Yakta Est or AJE, whatever you want to call it, um, and what you know what you think of it and, and how you've actually found it. So I know it can be quite daunting a game to sort of you know jump into and actually sort of understand the mechanics and like because a lot of the mechanics can seem quite I guess quirky and 
I suppose it's a little bit board game in some of like the rules and stuff, but I mean it is. I think it is really quite realistic in a lot of ways that it's done, and it just really portrays the, you know, the way that the wars and stuff were fought. So, or, you know, my my interpretation of the way wars and stuff were fought anyway. So, big battle going on here. We won another victory, which is nice. Equal in terms of numbers, which is good. We actually lost more um, men than them, but we actually did win the victory. So I'm not worried about that. So that's good. Another battle is still get going. Won another victory. Um, lost more. Actually destroyed some units of theirs, and actually they lost more men than us so it's another victory for us which is awesome they've actually retreated as well so that's good so another victory in the Numidian theater so the Numidian theater is going quite well again there as well so that is good and turns pretty much done so that is nice Alrighty, how are we going for events? Made a breach in Ancona, so that is good. Um, I suspect that is helped along by the fact that the port is now blockaded. So they're starting to get some um, supplies in there, so that is good. What else can we do here? Wall's decision underway in Rome, which is nice. Got another leader here, so that's interesting. Another three-star leader. It's only four, two, three, but interesting. Alrighty, what else have we got here? A bunch of units got some extra replacements, which is nice. Um, battle against the Optimates here, which we won. Um... Won another battle there, which is good. Constructed some um, ballastays there. It's only a size one fort though, so I think we're actually going to assault this force this time around. So we can put these guys onto assault. So this is a size one fort, so we can actually do that. These guys are out of supply though, so that is an issue. Although we do have these supplies units here, so we're actually going to send these back over to hook up with them. So that should be fine. Um, this guy's been got a new seniority, which is good. What else have we got here? Recruit amongst prisoners again, so that's quite good. We actually get another um, legion there. The treasure of Ephesus has been um, plundered. So where's that? It's over here, isn't it? So it's still under Roman control. So the Ottomans have done that, so that's interesting. What else have we got? That's pretty much it. Strategic decisions plus one. Um, Naeus Papyrus, Papyrus Carbo is consul. Leader ranked increased to three. So we got a new um, three-star leader there. So what is he in terms of stats? So poor logistician, um, good army administrator, and strategically indecisive. So he's not a great commander. Four, two, three. You know, average stats, but the some of the traits and stuff aren't all that good either. So I may look at seeing if what we can do with him a bit later on. What else have we got here? That's pretty much it. So he's good. Alrighty. How are these guys going for their replacements? Yeah, they still haven't got a whole lot of replacements. What we may actually do is send Carbo down here. Um, he's going to provide a whole bunch of extra command points and actually remove this 25% um, command penalties. And then after the next turn, we're actually going to assault this force here and hopefully destroy them in one turn. Hopefully get another breach in Ancona, which will be good. Um, looks like Sinner's army is almost back up to full supply, which is good to see. Um, got some supply units here, which are almost back up to strength. So actually going to send these guys back over into here. There we go. Um, how's the Spaniard going? Pretty much the same. Uh, this guy's actually, this um, unit is actually now active now. So she's going to switch him over to offensive and hopefully engage this force there and defeat them. And Lusitania is still being very passive, not really doing anything. New media we've already dealt with. Um, how's the Epirus going over here? So yeah, pretty much the same. Nothing really major else is happening there. It's fine. Um, what size is that? It's a size 2 fort there. What about this one? A size 1 fort there. Size 1 up there. Um, I'm almost tempted to actually try and take another city down here. Dodone then down there and actually just take that one. Maybe actually do that. Maybe actually send this one down here to assault them. So it's going to take 3 days. Uh, what we may actually do is actually send them down there to assault and then actually send them back again. And then actually we do that. Is it shift? No. no. Oh, yes, it is. Yep, shift up there. So it's going to come down here, assault, and then come back again. So that's just give us a little bit more vision about what's going on and take the sort of the road. So this is where the road starts, obviously, the road down into Macedonia or down into Greece. Um, and then there's road here from Dyrrhachium over into Macedonia. So that's all good there. Cool. Replacements. How are we going for replacements? Um, fine. Grab, grab a few more line infantry. Got a lot of money, so we might as well spend it. Popularis. Socia is fine. African needs a bunch more replacements, so we're going to queue up a bunch of those, which is good. Um, and a couple more Af um, Numidian cavalry there. Reinforcements, we are going to recruit another lot of reinforcements, which is good, to get an understrength legion. Um, also going to sell some prisoners, I think. Uh, no, we won't yet. Might as well keep hold of them. How are we going for objectives? Yep, pretty good. All right, new turn. New, new, new turn. <coughs>
<clears throat> Take the time in a minute as well. Make sure we don't go over our allotted 30 odd minutes episode. All righty. <clears throat> Newton. Battle in Consibura. So we engage that force and we crush them again. Awesome. Love it. Silly Lusitanians, you should have known better to take on Roman legions. Um, so we lost 676, they lost 2500 and destroyed a bunch of their units as well. So that is a good victory for us. Also assaulting the city here and we've won another good victory. Lost 2400, they lost 7500 and a bunch of units and stuff destroyed. So that is good. And there we go, garrison destroyed. So we've taken this um, this city over good here as well and we've now assaulted this um, the city of or the battle of Dodone. We actually did lose more men than them. Actually, it looks like there was a um, a legion down there, so legionary cohorts. Yep, so there was a full legion down there. So we still won the battle. Um, we did lose more units than them though. Um, actually, re retreated before we actually finished off the battle. So that's not a bad thing. Fairly okay with that. <clears throat> and yeah, cool. All right, some pretty good wins there in our last turn. Alrighty, um, another breach in Ancona. So definitely having the port blockaded made an enormous difference. So we're actually going to jump in and assault this. Oh, they're both um, inactive. So we actually can't assault with Idle of them, which is really frustrating. Um, I wonder if we can actually take one of these commanders out. So you're not active. What about if we move you over here um, and take you out? So that makes you active. I'm actually tempted. I think I'm actually going to assault this one, even though we actually are down on supply and stuff. Um, there's basically nothing in Ancona, so I'm actually going to assault that one anyway. Get that over and done with. What else have we got? Wall's decision underway in Rome, which is fine. It's got another three turns to go, so that'll be up to a level two fort, which would be good, I guess. A bit more of a fort there. Um, what else have we got? Partial on supply. We already knew that. Yeah, that's fine. Upkeep. Won a battle, which is good in here, which is awesome. Um, I'm not really sure where that big uh, Numidian army is going, whether it's actually disappeared. So there's just lots, lots got some supply units there. So whether they actually like lost supply and got destroyed, I'm not really quite sure. Can't really see them. Um, cool, run a bunch of victories, which is good. Optimates lost Thessalonica again. So actually getting their backsides handed to them by Pontus. So, which is interesting. They have taken most, over, most of Greece again. So maybe they can actually start rallying now and actually start moving up this way. Interesting. All right. What else have we got? I mean, it is actually in like the, the victory conditions that we've basically got to ensure that we actually control all of this as well. So it could end up coming down to the way if like Solo actually ends up getting like weaker, we could actually sort of bring our armies over here and actually end up fighting sort of against Pontus and Solo at the same time. And if, we, if we're good enough, we can actually end up sort of you know sweeping through here as well. So it doesn't actually matter which Roman faction controls all of Macedonia and Greece. It just has to be a Roman faction. So it could be us. There's no real, doesn't mean, doesn't just because we're actually sort of fighting over here doesn't mean that we can't. Um, yeah, it just means that all that kind of stuff. Um, cool. So this actually, this, um, legions that we're here have actually slipped away because we were on defensive stance. So it's a bit of a risk there. So what we're going to do with this force, actually put these guys onto assault. We're going to assault this city and then we're going to move over here and try and take these guys. Do you have this legion here, which is under strength, but it should um, recruit up to a full strength next term. What else have we got in terms of, um, messages? Nothing much really. Supply is okay for both these units, which is good and switch you back to defensive and you're already there as well because you're inactive. New seniority for a bunch of our commanders, which is nice. Recruited a legion um, and also oh, the Pontic sold prisoners into slavery. So that's all the messages, which is good. So doing pretty well in Numidia. We've pretty, pretty much taken all of the cities. It's just this, this one over here. We may sort of take our time and regroup and then come over, come at it a little bit later on. I'm going to send you back to search over here. So just make sure you're not taking up all the supplies in this region. So split up our supplies and actually may send you around in these um, areas over here just to take these provinces make sure there's no sort of units sitting around there sneaking around um hispania's fine as usual we're just gonna leave this guy back here because he's back to inactive anyway so good um italia's fine got sinner down here 
How long does it take to take to send our units down here to Rome? 33 days. We might actually do that because it's still actually going to give us control of these provinces, which we don't have yet. That's actually why it's going to take so long because it, uh, we, it is in provinces we are in control because there is actually a road running down here. So it should be actually a quick um, trip. But because we don't control these provinces, it is going to be a slow trip because we have to take control of that provinces as we move through them, which is not a problem. Not really worried about that. Going to assault that. Hopefully take Ancona. I'm not really worried about this. Uh, I'm just going to leave these guys back here and defend. Uh, that should be fine. And yep. Yep, yep, yep. All good. All right. So that's pretty good. So that's pretty much all we need to do this turn. Can't recruit anything new, can we? No, we can't. That's fine. Not a problem. And what about replacements? Replacements, replacements. Going to grab another four line infantry and a couple of units of supplies. There we go. And that's fine. Socii. Going to grab a few more units for them. And a couple of cavalry there. African forces look like they need a bunch more replacements as well. So we're going to recruit all of those. There we go, and muting cavalry, it should be fine there. No reinforcements, nothing, political decisions, no various, that's fine there. So the Optimates are still around 100% parity, still around 100%, even though they have taken a huge number of casualties extra. Pontic Force is actually coming down, so it could be a combination of us getting stronger and also them perhaps getting worn down by the Optimates finally. So it looks like the, the Optimates will prevail, or Sulla will finally prevail in... Um, in, in um, Macedonia and Greece. Lusitania is down to 24%, so they're definitely getting weaker. We're definitely getting stronger. So, now we're going for time on this period. We're going 31 minutes. So, I'm actually going to put, put another cut in the video here, guys. Um, we'll come back next episode and continue our um, our adventure in the Marius versus Sala Civil War. As always, if you haven't done so already, it would be incredible if you could subscribe to the channel and like the video. That would be enormously appreciated. Hope you all had a good day, and I'll see you all for the next episode.